Welcome to ATG Tech Tips. Today we're going to look at Plant 3D and see how Plant 3D works with uh, BIM 360. So first, uh, within Plant 3D, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up a, uh, a PNID drawing. So in order to uh, start this process, you do have to have uh, a drawing open. Uh, once you have that open, uh, you can go to the Collaborate tab in the ribbon and click on Share Project. And you're going to get this dialog box that pops up here. So it uh, gives you step-by-step -step instructions. So you need to choose a BIM 360 project folder. So you should already have a, uh, a BIM 360 project set up uh, within the cloud before going through this process. Uh, then we go in and upload a copy of the current project that you have open. And then we can go in and invite uh, team members to a project. We'll go ahead and click get started. Now, after this, it actually tells you that one or more project drawings are still open. They must be closed before you must share the, before you share this project. Close them now. So in order to start it, you have to have a drawing open but then you have to close it again. So I'm going to close that in the background and now it'll be able to uh, go in and uh, be able to start this process here. So I go to uh, the, the hub that I'm in here, ATG USA, and I can look for a uh, project folder to go in and place this in. So I have a, uh, a plant folder set up for this here. So I just simply called it Plant 3D and PNID Project. And we'll go ahead and click on Upload Project. So it's going to go through the process here of uh, pushing the files up into the cloud. And it actually takes uh, the entire project structure. So if you've taken a look at that in your C drive, you'll know, to, know that there's quite a few folders and quite a few files uh, that get attached to that. So uh, when you go through this process, you, you need to make sure that you're going through Plant 3D and the Collaborate and not just simply uh, uploading uh, files to a BIM 360 folder. Uh, you will not be able to use the, uh, the Collaborate option within Plant 3D uh, to go in and uh, work with others uh, on a plant project within the cloud. So as you can see, uh, it is moving a number of files up to BIM 360 here. All right, so as it uh, completes, uh, it, it put 200 different files up into uh, the BIM 360 cloud. And uh, now it's actually ready to, uh, to, to work on. Uh, we can go and invite team members at this point. We can look at our files uh, within there as well. So I can go and just simply click on close here. Uh, one thing that you'll notice within Plant 3D now uh, is for the project uh, that is current here. I have a, a BIM 360 project here and it has the uh, uh, B next to it. And it basically it's telling us that that is a cloud uh, type model. Uh, if I go to uh, BIM 360, you know, we'll go in and refresh. Uh, you'll see that uh, we have the BIM 360 folder in here, same as what we would see in Plant 3D. And if I expand that, we have uh, all the different folders within there. So as I go in and click on them, uh, you can see that we have all the XML files. Here's the project XML file that kind of controls the, uh, the whole project there. Uh, if I come down here to the PNID drawings, here's the, uh, the two drawings uh, that I have in there. Uh, we do have some versioning within here, so uh, uh, we can do everything that, uh, you know, that, that BIM 360 docs can do here. Uh, we can go in and uh, create markups and, uh, and create issues uh, within all all the different files that we have in BIM 360. Now I'm going to go back to Plant 3D here and I'm going to go to the PNID drawing. You know that, notice that there's a little circle next to the drawings here. 
So if I go in and right click on a uh, drawing, what I can do is I can go in and check out a drawing within Plant 3D. So that means that others can't go into that drawing uh, through the cloud. So I go in and check that file out and it puts a little green check mark there. So now I, if I go in and double click on it, I can open it and I can go in and work on that particular drawing. Now when I go in and want to close out that drawing, obviously I can just click on the X here. I'm not going to save any changes. I still have it checked out. So that means nobody else can work on that until I check it back in. So the important thing to understand is you need to right click on it and you need to go in and check in that drawing again. And when you do that, you have a couple options here. Uh, you can obviously keep the files open for editing after check-in, but obviously you, you don't have it still checked out. Uh, the other item here is to clean up the cached files. So those are going to be the files that are going to be local on your C drive. Uh, typically you want to clean those out uh, so that when you reopen that file, you're getting a, a fresh one uh, from the cloud. So we go ahead and click OK, and now we get a little, little question mark after that, but we can still go in and uh, check in, check out uh, the items within there. That is uh, BIM 360 for Plant 3D.